Hi everyone. Today I'm going to present our work on Omni CV Workshop, CBPR 2020. We are going to talk about toward real-world panoramic image enhancement. Panoramic camera has very wide field of view ranging from 180 to 360 degrees. Among all panoramic cameras, the fisheye panoramic camera is a low-cost consumer-level camera which has poor image quality in terms of texture details, image clarity, noise level, and the chromatic aberration. We can see here that uh, we have our panoramic image captured by a Dow fisheye camera has 360 degrees horizontally and 180 degrees vertically. We have a high-end camera of the same scene but much smaller field of view than the panoramic image. If we compare this small part with the same part of a high-end camera, we can see that the fisheye image quality is very poor. So how can we improve the image quality of the fisheye camera? Can we improve it to the high-end camera level? How about using the state-of-the-art deep learning-based super-resolution method directly? For example, we can downsample the original low-quality image to create a low-resolution image. Then we super-resolve it using state-of-the-art methods such as SRGAN or ESRGAN or RCAN by using also provided models and architectures. We hope that we can get a super-resolved image better than the original one in terms of texture details, clarity. However, all of them fail to generate good results. So how about using state-of-the-art architectures without downsampling the ground truth so that the input and output have the same resolution? And we retrain using public data sets where the low-quality images are created synthetically by applying Gaussian noise and blur to the ground truth. Let's take a look at the result here. Here we got a panoramic original image of low quality. The result trained by using public datasets such as DIV2K, Flickr2K, Zoom to Learn's SRAW dataset from um, did not generate good results too. They include unpleasant artifacts and no clear texture details. So what's the problem? The public datasets such as SET5, SET14, set BSD100, DIV2K, Flickr2K, SRAW includes perspective image which has low data similarity to panoramic images. Models trained using perspective image dataset failed to generate photorealistic results. On the other hand, if we, if we use synthetic data, the network only learns a degradation that is artificially introduced, but not from the real world. The real world degradation includes not only downsampling, Gaussian blur, but also optical defects such as lens distortion, chromatic aberration, and other noise components which cannot be modeled directly. Therefore, we created the real world panoramic image datasets. We use a consumer fisheye camera to capture the low-quality images and high-end APS-C camera to capture ground truth high-quality images. A self-designed camera rig is used to reduce parallax between the two cameras. We capture three low-quality images along the horizontal direction and five high-quality images by rotating the high-end camera along the tripod to ensure that we cover 360 degrees along horizontal axis. Then, we use a two-step matching strategy to align our image for training. The first step is to match LQ and HQ image of large size. Firstly, a feature matching method is used to find the viewpoint and get the matched positions between LQ and HQ. Here, we use, we use oriented fast and rotated brief, or ORB, as the feature descriptor to detect the key points. Then the LQ is converted from equirectangular to perspective projection, and we find match the LQ and the HQ using similarity transformation by orb descriptor again. In the second step, we extract and match small patch pairs using template matching and pixel mapping. Here is the result of match the LQ and the HQ patch pairs. Our final dataset is called the panoramic high-end or panel high dataset 
It consists of equirectangular and high-end camera images of more than 100 gigabytes. In this work, we, pro we propose an efficient gun architecture as our network. It adopts low and high frequency representation processes and compressed residual in residual dense block or RDB, which is originally from ESRGAN, and convolutional kernels from each dense block. And this figure shows the generator of our proposed efficient network. The network has, down sample, uh, has two downsampling and two upsampling layers. The basic blocks are the, are the compressed RDBs modified from ESRGAN. We reduce the number of RDBs from 23 to 6 and the, num the number of convolutional kernels uh, with leak relu in each dense block from 5 to 3. And we keep the same resolution between the input and output for enhancement purpose. Uh, we use the same discriminator and the loss function as the ESRGAN did. Now we will show some qualitative results. First of all, we show that how the image quality of low-cost optics can be improved by our method from four aspects. Texture details, image clarity, noise, and, and chromatic aberration. The left column shows the original image, and the right column shows the enhanced one. We can see in its figures that the texture details and the image clarity improved greatly compared to the original one. This slide showed, shows that the noise and the chromatic aberration are also reduced. We can see that the noise in the left image is significantly, significantly reduced in the right image, and the color frame in the, right, in the left image is also removed in the right image. We also compared our efficient gun architecture with state-of-the-art using panel high dataset. We select the networks ARCAN, ESRGAN, and the DBPN, and remove their upsampling layers for enhancement purpose. Two well-known image enhancement measures based on GAN, DPED and the WASP, are also selected for comparison. As seen in, in this figure, ESRGAN, DBPN, and ours uh, generate images with richer and sharper textures than DPED, WASP, and ARCAN. The visual quality of ours is almost indistinguishable from that of the ESRGAN. We also show the ground truth image here, and we can see that ours is very close to the ground truth image. We use the no reference and the full reference evaluation matrix to evaluate our methods quantitatively. We use perceptual index or PI as a no reference metric, the lower is better, the red and the blue indicate the best and the second best scores, respectively. We can see here that our hours got the best the PI score among all methods. Although we are not the fastest, our processing time is 15.1 times faster than ESRGAN, while we have the best perceptual image quality in PI. The full reference evaluation is implemented using LIPS. The lower, lower score indicates better similarity to the reference Im image. The lips of each row is the average score computed from more than 40,000 enhanced and high quality pairs of patch of size 1 to 8 by 1 to 8. We can see that we also surpass the other state of the art methods here, indicating that our result is the most similar to the ground truth image. In this slide, we show more visual results using panel high datasets we can see that the enhanced image quality is very close to the ground truth. We also tried the panoramic super resolution. In this slide, we can see that the image is enhanced compared to the original one, but not comparable to the ground truth, which is original side without any downsampling. We can use super resolution to improve image quality further to achieve true ground truth image quality, which is really exciting. Finally, we conclude our work. We have three contributions here. The first contribution is that uh, we propose a method which enhances low quality 360 degrees panoramic image to the high end camera level. Our second contribution is that we build a panoramic high end uh, data set and propose a two step matching algorithm. Our third contribution is 
that we adopt an efficient gun architecture and obtain the good image quality visually and quantitatively at a high processing speed. We also generate rich and sharper, uh, sharp texture details, reduce noise and chromatic aberration. We also show, we demonstrate superiority over several state-of-the-art DNA-based methods in both no reference and the full reference evaluations, as well as the processing speed. And finally, we showed that the panoramic image super resolution improves image quality further and better than enhancement. Thank you very much.